do we got here? Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG White Storm Blue. Now, I know these came out like a week ago. But I couldn't help from purchasing, man. They was just sick. Of course, the Nike box. You already know what that's about. And I was in the store. Granted, these aren't the shoes I actually went to go get. But I seen these and I was like, man, these shoes are dope. So I got them. It was a sleeper, though. You know what I mean? Because if you really look at the sneaker itself, a lot of people passed on them, which is crazy because I thought people love OGJs, you know what I mean, as far as Jordans, and these haven't been released since 1985, so this is the first retro release of those sneakers, and that's crazy, I mean, I guess maybe because of the colorway people weren't fucking with it, but I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying, kind of got that Kentucky blue color, royal blue in a sense, if you want to call it that, but they dope, you know, I fuck with them, you know what I mean, got the Nike Air, Inside the joint, got the Nike Air, you know, on the tongue. I really preferably don't care about the Nike Air, but I mean, I guess a lot of people fuck with it. But yeah, these is fire, man. Um, They can go with a lot of things as far as colorways. A LA Dodgers hat definitely will go with them. Extra laces right there. I wasn't even going to upload these, you know what I mean, as far as a um, review. Because it's not really a big deal. You know what I mean? I get shoes. And sometimes I just post it on Instagram. But I was just like, yeah, fuck it. Might as well. You know what I mean? So, these are not my first release pickup of 2017. I would say this is, what, the second? But yeah, man. Air Drum 1, Storm Blue ones. You know what I mean? I was going to wear them, but I'm like, nah. I didn't do, like, the um, unboxing of them or whatever, so... I just wanted to basically wait until I unbox them. So basically now I can wear them shits. So I'm happy about that. But let's go ahead and get into the first um, pickup of 2017. I was mad that these came in a regular black box. But as you see, man, Air Jordan 1 Retro High, Max Orange Black, 140 Retail. They came out yesterday. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into it with the receipt. The total was 151. Now a lot of people kind of not fucking with these. You know what I mean? Um, I don't eventually know if they sold out. But um, I seen them and just wanted them. You feel me? I just was like, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's the first shoe of 2017 that I wanted to get. And so I just said, fuck it. You know what I mean? A lot of people are mad because you look at them and it's like, they orange. They kind of look like the um, Chicago colorway. But I mean, you got the Nike Air on the back. The wing logo is gone. It got Air Jordan. And then on the tongue, when you line them up, it says Rare Air. You dig? So... I don't know, a lot of people is up and down on these, you know what I mean, as far as the colorway of them. They're not really fucking with them. They feel like, it looks kind of like um, the Chicago colorway in a sense, but it's like that orange reddish color. And so, when you look at them, you can tell it's orange though. That's like the thing, but especially the bottom. But in some light, it looked kind of red. So I don't know if they was going for the Max Orange or was they going for like the Chicago colorway. But I mean, in 2008 or 2009, they actually released the um, Max Orange shoe. It was predominantly orange, where you see the white at, predominantly orange and some black on the toe box and everything like that. You can definitely go Google that and look that up. But I mean, the only gripes that I got about the shoe the tumble leather is okay, and but on a toe box, I don't get why they made it like black with, you know what I mean, this kind of leather material. I don't really understand why they did that. I feel like if y'all was going to do that with the shoe, it definitely could have been the same material all the way around. Or even with a, um, a white toe box. Because the, the black is okay, but it's like, yeah, I get it. They went for the shattered backboard look. You know, that's definitely 
what these uh, rare errors are supposed to be. If you didn't get the shattered backboards, you got these. If you didn't get the um, damn, what is them um blue, white, and black joints? Um, I just forget the name of them. Um, the fragments. You didn't get the fragment joints. The blue colorway plus will come out sometime this month. I haven't seen no dates, and then they got a gray colorway coming out. And I thought it was a black colorway coming out and a bread colorway coming out. So I don't really know, you know, if that's supposed to be the case. But the thing that I wanted about the shoe, I only wanted the bread colorway because I'd never been able to get the bread colorway in any shoe. You know what I mean? Even with the Jordan 1 mid colorway or the OG colorway, I couldn't get it. But these are due for now. But I just feel like what I would have did, every rare Air Jordan, I just would have released them all at once. You know what I'm saying? Certain... You know, retailers, champs get a couple pair, Foot Locker get a couple pair, Sheik get predominantly every pair, and uh, Shoe Palace. So that's what I would have did because I don't really think that a lot of people really check them for the red airs. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, if you got the shattered backboards or reverse shattered backboards, why do you want these? A lot of people don't really fuck with the Air Jordan 1 mids anyway, but these are like not a mid. But that's the thing. It's like, why wouldn't this be a mid? It's like it's an Air Jordan 1. But at the same time, it's considered a retro high. And I don't really look at this as being a retro high or even a retro. But, I mean, I guess. You know what I mean? So, that's the first pickup of 2017. It is a couple more pair I do want this year. A couple fours. Maybe some 13s. But we'll see where it lands at, man. But what y'all think about these? Y'all fucking with them? Y'all not fucking with them? Out of the other colorways, which is y'all favorite? And yeah, man, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show this to y'all. Wasn't going to do it at first, but I'm like, fuck it. One.